Okay, so now I'm going to show you how it works on a phone. Uh, I'm using Tyler's phone, my little helper here. Um, so here is what the Google Photos looks like on the phone, right? So you would click that. You'd install it. You can and see and there's all the pictures that I already imported from the last video. If you look up here in this corner here, that tells me that everything that I imported is backed up right here, right? When there's a little check mark, you can see it says everything's good to go. Okay, so it's pretty much the same thing. You can find this app on the App Store um, in uh, the, the iCloud App Store, the Apple one, or the Google Play Store, or the Windows Store, or whatever you're using. Okay, so like right now, see how it's got a little icon for Assistant? That means it's already done something. Say it's going to tell me about it. Add your location. It's already it's already pulling in information. Let's see if it did anything. Yep. See people. Right. This is what I was telling you about before in the other video. It hadn't quite done its thing yet, so I'm going to find all the pictures of Addison, right? And boom, all the pictures that have Addison in them are now there. So that's how that works. Um, then you can add the name to whoever it is. Uh, and then sometimes I'll ask you, is this the same person? Like if it's kind of close and it's not sure, usually with little kids it does it a lot because it doesn't know uh, how old they are. So I want to show you real quick. Let me go back, back, and then back to the photos. Okay, so it says backup complete. This is what I love about this. You know that all your stuff's backed up. So let me go back to the main folder here. Let's use the camera and let's take a picture of Tyler. Okay. All right, all right Tyler, smile. Goofball. Okay, so we took a picture of Tyler, right? So now I have a picture of Tyler on the phone. So we'll go back here and we'll go back to photos. And boom, look, see it already pulled them in there? And then now see what it says? Backing up, right? Oh, and it actually pulled my photo from the, the my video, the other video. See, and this is backup complete. You know everything's backed up. Um, and then, so once your phone starts getting full, another good feature about this is you click here. You can go to free up space, right, right here. And then it'll say, oh, you can free up this space. And what it'll do is delete all those phones, those uh, photos off of your phone, but it makes sure that they're backed up before it does it. Um, that's one thing I like about this versus the iCloud one. The iCloud one, you don't know if your photos are backed up or not. Uh, I'm not, not a big fan of it, as you can tell. Um, it is a good option, but so now these are all here, but it'll delete all those photos off my phone and free up the space on my phone, but they're all in my Google Photos. And Google Photos loads super fast. Uh, so yeah, that's why I use Google Photos. Um, if you have any questions or comments or want any more information uh, or need help, uh, transitioning. It's really hard to get all your data back from Apple. So if you need help with that, please let me know. I'll tell you how to do it or I can help you do it uh, one way or another. I I'm here to help um, and I hope you learned something today. Thanks. Can I see the video?